The Leach family of Ingleside Dairy in Lexington, Virginia, chose to install four Laley robots for 240 cows. The robot room has two left-hand units and two right-hand units, allowing the cows to choose what's more comfortable for them. Prior to startup, the Leach family spent three days running the herd through the robots to get them used to the environment. They also installed a cow brush three weeks prior to startup to encourage the cows to hang out around the robots. In this clip, Parker Dell explains to Jennifer Leach how to adjust the robot using the touchscreen. Every cow in the herd needed to be read by the system as having a successful milking. This meant that the robot had successfully attached to all four teats, not necessarily that the cow had let down her milk. If a cow did not have its successful milking and was turned loose, the leeches would have to start the adjusting process all over again. A laser beam helped to determine which direction to move the robot in order to help it learn the placement of each individual cow's teats. The process was painstaking. Each time a cow moved too far forward or too far back, the person operating the robot would have to start again. Small teats and teats that were too close together were an added challenge. In order to get everything right, the Leach family was only able to milk about four cows per robot per hour. It took about 10 hours to get the entire herd through the robots for one milking. Paul Burdell advises producers that it's important to get the details right when switching to robots. It's not a veterinarian, he says. It's just a box that milks cows. He consults with producers on feed rations, bedding, cow cooling, and hoof care. With more than a decade of working with robotic dairies, his expertise is invaluable. Burdell typically stays with the dairy for the first two weeks of startup. He says it's better to be there in person to answer questions that come up. There's no doubt that the first few days of startup are rough. In talking with other robotic owners, Linda Leach found, after three days, the cows finally start going through on their own. After three weeks, producers say to themselves, we're going to survive. After three months, they say, okay, this is going to work. Look for the article about Paul Burdell and the Leach family of Ingleside Dairy in the April 11th issue of Progressive Dairyman magazine.